the stress interview is designed to cut through the veneer of pleasantries right to the heart of the matter and see what a candidate is really made of. I was subjected to a stress interview before I'd even heard of the technique, which is not the best way to prepare, believe me. Several years ago, I applied for an editorial position at a major publishing company. I made it past the first hurdle, a screening interview conducted in the corporate office. Next, I was invited to come back to meet Carrie, the director of personnel. After greeting me pleasantly, Carrie led me back to her rather palatial office. We chatted for a few minutes as I settled in. Then everything changed. Suddenly, I was undergoing an interrogation. Assuming that I had been given good reviews by the screening interviewer, I was shocked when Carrie started zeroing in on me. First, she questioned my credentials. Why, she wondered sarcastically, had I majored in liberal arts rather than something practical? She demanded to know what in the world made me think I could edit a magazine, even though I had been doing it quite well for a number of years. Each successive question skittered in a dizzying new direction. If the first question was about my work experience, the next launched into my fitness routine. Then my favorite movie. Carrie's questions did exactly what I later discovered they were intended to do. They made me feel confused, fearful, and hostile. I'll admit it. I behaved badly. I answered most of her questions in monosyllables, avoiding her eyes. Needless to say, I was not offered the job. But I did learn some valuable lessons from Carrie that day. Never let them see you sweat. No matter how stressful the situation, stay calm. Never take your eyes from the interviewer. When he or she finishes asking a question, take a few seconds to compose yourself and then, and only then, answer it. Recognize the situation for what it is. Nothing more than an artificial scenario designed to see how you react under pressure. The interviewer probably has nothing against you personally. Don't become despondent. It's easy to think that your chances for completing the interview process are nil. That's not necessarily the case. The stress interview is designed to see if you will become depressed, hostile, and flustered when the going gets tough, just as I did. Watch your tone of voice. It's easy to become sarcastic, or worse, during a stress interview especially if you don't realize what the interviewer is up to. When all of this is over and done, and you've survived, you may question whether you really want a job with a company that utilizes such techniques. If they think insulting and belittling you during the interview are effective tools, what's their management philosophy? Bread, water, and torture? What would happen if everyone else called in sick and the hypothetical question should start a red light flashing in